to show you a couple of things about the Flat Earth Sunrise and Sunset. So what I've done here is I've downloaded a copy of a Flat Earth map, uh, azimuth equidistant map, and I've added a couple of uh, markings on here to help clarify some things. Uh, first of all, you can see that I've got these uh, yellow circles. Those are the equator here and the two uh, tropics. And then I've also marked a line across here. Well, let me explain these dots here first. These are locations of four cities. Um, this is Fort McKenzie in Quebec, Canada. It's a tiny little town, but I found it on the map. Boston, Massachusetts, uh, Maracaibo, Venezuela, and Santiago, Chile. So the, the reason I chose these four cities is they're all roughly in line with each other, like uh, straight north and south of each other within a couple of degrees of longitude. And uh, so I thought that would make a little for a little easier comparison. And then I put this line across here to kind of help you visualize sort of roughly the division between day and night. Because uh, you know, we're going to be talking about sunrises and sunsets. And uh, so if you're thinking about, uh, you know, on the equinox, for example, this would be all dark uh, the day that at the time that these people are having noon. So that's kind of what that line is, just to kind of help you visualize, like, or how much of this is going to see daylight while these people are seeing daylight. So, um, and then to what I did is I went through uh, to timeanddate.com and I looked up these cities that I talk about. So here's Fort McKenzie, um, and it, here it is marked on the map. Uh, and then I went to sunrises and sunsets and uh, put in uh, different times of the year. So here I put in December 2019, and then I was looking for the date of the, equin of the solstice. So the December solstice uh, is on the 21st, and you can see here that um, I was most interested in this little thing right here. You can see there's a little arrow, and this arrow is pointing to the southeast, and it says 135 degrees, and then this is sunset, little arrow pointing to the southwest at 225 degrees. So I took that uh, information uh, and I looked up, um, I did the same thing uh, for uh, June and the same thing for March. So I got March, June, and December representing the equinox and the two solstices. So um, I took those things and I plotted it onto a 360 degree compass like this. I added little crosshairs for fun and then I can drag it in like this and we can see what uh, the direction of the sunrise and the sunset uh, for each of these locations. So these points represent the June solstice, the equinox, and the December solstice. I'm not saying summer or winter solstice because, um, you know, we have our uh, people in various hemispheres looking at this, possibly. So, uh, anyway, here's Fort McKinsey. You can see that on, uh, on the June solstice, it rises off in this direction, somewhere out in that, you know, it could be here, 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 it doesn't matter where. And so we could imagine, right, we got to, if the sun is circling over this, uh, at the at the uh, solstice, then we've got to say, well, then we can imagine it being, instead of being here, being right up there. And that's, so that's kind of what this is saying. It's not necessarily that's where it'd be, it just off in that direction. So that kind of makes sense, right? The sun could be right there uh, when it uh, first appears over here, and then it could go around, and then it could disappear off of this way. So that doesn't make too, too you know, that seems all right. And then here we could say, well, it rises over here, 90 degrees, and so maybe it's right there on the equator for the for the uh, for the equinox, and then rises over here, you know, maybe it's over there for the solstice. I mean, for the equinox uh, for the sunset, and then uh, sunrise uh, in the December solstice is down here at 135 degrees, like I just showed you. And then over here, 225 rises and rises and sets. So somehow that seems a little strange. Like you'd have to have only that much light. Okay, well, something to think about anyway. All right, let's move down a little bit. So that was uh, 
that was Fort McKenzie. Up here I have the same plot for Boston. So, bring it that way, right? Oh, it's fighting me a little bit. All right, close enough. So again, let's look off of this way. Equina, uh, solstice, June solstice rising up here. June solstice setting over here. That seems like it's not too bad. Equinox rise and set doesn't seem too bad. Uh, December solstice rise and set that doesn't seem too bad. So Boston sort of makes sense. Oop. Oh, this thing wants to be there. All right. So let's go further south. Now let's go to Maracaibo. Bring this one up. Yes. So there we go. Uh, Maracaibo is um, hmm. Sun rises over here. Now there's no alignment of this that gets it onto the. Right, it's got to be on this circle. But it gets, when we look at it, it's off this way. I I don't know. It doesn't line up very well. Same thing with this. Now, this one on the equinox, it does cross the equator. Right? It could be right there, just by the angles of the rise and set, rising and setting. But I don't see how it could, because that would be on the equinox. It's supposed to be equal night and day, right? We're supposed to be having all this area lit up at noon. And uh, here we've got just you know, rising and setting right there. And then the, the um, same problem with the, with the December solstice rises and sets over here. I don't, I don't know. Hmm. All right. Now let's have a look, though. This is the one that's really exciting. When we go down here to Santiago, okay. put that on the crosshairs. And so, uh, once again, uh, we've got the June solstice there. That's, that's the June solstice. This is the December solstice down here. The June solstice looks like it lines up about right for the December solstice. Right? It's got to be like this. Then the Santiago, the equinox for Santiago is supposed to be clear up there. So really, what should be happening is that the Santiago should be seeing a June sunrise right here and set right there. And then the equinox should rise up here somewhere, right there, and set right there. And then the December solstice should rise right here and set right there. I just don't see how this makes any sense. So maybe you want to give it some of your own thoughts. I don't know how to explain this. Uh, how you have, you know, maybe the light bends a lot in some kind of mysterious and incomprehensible way. But, um, I don't know, you can go ahead uh, to yourself, timeanddate.com, look up all these facts and see if you see and agree with me. And if so, you're going to have to think very hard about your flat earth sunrise and sunset.